Hi, Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. I want to make this wooden heart for my valentine. As I pondered it, I ran into some problems because it needs to be a cylinder to make the heart out of. Well, how do you finish the end of a cylinder? Well, there's been, I've tried the long nose chucks before, but I generally make a mark. So I thought I'd use a collet system. And, but, and I have a collet system this is one that I purchased a long time ago that I have never ever used. Uh, it does fit my lathe. What it is is a, in effect, a clamping system, and this is a tapered ring that will expand, uh, well, contract as it's forced in around the uh, tenon of a project. But I wanted to do one that you could do also, and so I decided, okay, I'll make a tenon, or a collet rather, that fits in my chuck and use it to grip the cylinder. I failed. This one broke and didn't quite do the job. So it's back to the drawing board on that one. But the principle of this collet is still intriguing. It's used a lot in metalworking and I think it could be used some in wood turning. Probably not to the extent that it's worth buying a official chuck, but it's the principle is well worth the point. But I need to refine it a little bit more. After you see my mistakes in this video, please comment with your suggestions on how to use this better in wood turning and how I can hollow the insides of this at the same time. So let's make this little heart out of hazelnut. The hazelnut branch is small enough to fit the chuck jaws just barely. Otherwise, I would mount it between centers. I only need to mount it long enough to cut a tenon with my skew. Anything else is a bonus, so I'll do some rough rounding right now for a bonus. Next, for this project, all that I need is a cylinder about one inch in diameter. I'm roughing with my bowl gouge and finishing with my skew. After a thorough sanding, it's time to part off the cylinder. This one is easy, but I need to sand the other end. Previously, I prepared a short cylinder of cedar just a bit longer than the depth of my shark jaws. To make them useful, I need to drill a hole that is the same size as my cylinder. However, I don't have the correct bit, so my hole is a bit undersized. I'll find out the impact of that shortly. But for now, I need to cut the collet from both ends at right angles to each other. I want to leave just a little wood at the ends, so I have to cut with the round side down. A couple of clamps make me feel safer with my hands more out of the way. Now to put my collet to use, but I find that the hole is slightly too small. I drive the cylinder in anyway, breaking the uncut ends of the collet where I had stopped my saw cuts. Still, I managed to hold it enough and concentric enough to sand the end. Back to the drawing board for a new wooden collet design. With my cylinder sanded on both ends, I'm back at the bandsaw to cut it at a fairly steep angle. 45 degrees would result in a 90 degree angle, so I'm aiming for a larger angle by eye, not by protractor. After test fitting the two ends, I need an even steeper angle and shorter pieces. I carefully clamp them again and saw off a little more. Whew! That was a white knuckle cut. Safe for me, but I worried whether the cylinder would survive. Next, at the disc sander, I can smooth out the saw curve and match the angles until I like the shape. It resembles a stylized heart. I thought a lot about trying to hollow the heart, but since the collet flopped, I did not attempt to draw out the center. A twist bit against a slanted surface did not strike me as a good bet. Next, to glue the two pieces together, I'm using Type Bond Original. The extra dry time will not matter overnight but the glue squeeze out is much easier to sand than Type Bond 2. 
Sanding now is with a sanding pad. I need to sand the joint and round over the bottom of the heart. Rather than using a drill press where I ram a bit into the heart somehow held on a table, I mounted a bit to the lathe and I'm pressing the heart to the bit by hand to drill the hole. This works for small diameter drills. For a hanger, I have a short length of silver plated wire. I have a small diameter punch mounted to the lathe. I'm wrapping the wire around the punch, grabbing the ends with clamping pliers. After winding the wire to a tight wrap, I can cut it to length. Later, I'll glue it into the heart with CA glue. That hole for the hanger is perfect to hold the heart while I spray it with rattle can lacquer. The drill bit into a hole in the offcut from the cylinder is a perfect spray stand. Now to buff the heart and glue in the hanger. This finishes my wife's Valentine's Day present. A small heart from hazelnut for a necklace. That's for her. What I'd like from you are ideas for DIY collets for use in wood turning. I'll couple your ideas with mine and prepare another video. Also, how could I have safely drilled out the center in a safe manner for both the wood and myself? There was not much wood to grip on the short piece. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends and send me your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video. Please wear your full face shield anytime the lathe is running. Until next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from S Wood Turns.